but who am I to try to, you know, answer some of the messages that I get um, in my messenger here on Facebook? Uh, some incredible, incredible questions, deep questions, difficult, difficult situations and questions. Who am I? Who am I to answer those? That's tough when you get in that mentality. And then, you know, I, I sit here and I'm like, you know, what, what do I have to offer? What do I have, you know, that I can get on here uh, tonight and say that somebody may be, may be able to get value from? Who am I? That who am I? Um, uh, who am I? Um, question that who am I complex? You could even call it like who am I to sit here on, on video right now and, and talk to you? Who am I? Um, it's hard to shake that uh, because of things that have happened in the past and failures and failures and failures and failures. And when you have this type of transformation that I've had over the last three and a half years, going from being unemployed to you know, almost seven hundred thousand dollars in income last year, and um, you know ownerships and companies and and things that have happened so fast, uh, three and a half years is very fast. Um, it, it feels like it's happened in the blink of an eye. Um, and it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to uh, process, it's a lot to deal with, and um, it's <laughs> it's a lot to deal with also throwing myself into a world where I'm documenting everything online in the process. <laughs> to me, the most important thing with self-doubt is understanding that there are things that you are going to be weak in. There are things that are not gonna be strengths of yours. And that's what makes you you, like, that's what makes you uh, unique. And you have to just figure out what are my strengths and quit focusing on the weaknesses. Uh, and to me, that's what eliminates self-doubt. When you're going all in on your strengths, when you're going all in on your gifts, it allows you to be completely self-confident. But here's the thing, self-confidence, self-confidence, self-doubt, like it's on you. The who am I is like, to me, it's like you're, you're an individual with worth and value. And it's just waiting to be unleashed on people. And that's my encouragement to you. Uh, we've all got a story and we all have that who am I complex. Who am I to, to start putting my stuff out there? Who am I to start giving advice on things that I need to take myself? Um, but we've all got a story. Uh, we've all got things that we can impart on this world and I just think it's our responsibility to do so. If you're in a feeling, if you're in a moment of self-doubt and you need a little bit of inspiration, motivation, go to the influencers and entrepreneurs and, and incredible people online that are providing content and then use that to then go do the work. Just make sure, and I caution you not to use those videos in place of doing the work because again, it triggers the same psychological response in your brain as actually doing the work. But you got to use the motivation to do the work, not use motivation in place of work to feel good about what you didn't do. But we all have interesting things about our lives. We all have just this framework that we've built around us that will provide value to someone. And I've become increasingly, increasingly, it may be a little weird about this, but I think about the fact that there is somebody, there is somebody in Kansas right now that's scrolling on their phone, that's sitting at their computer and they are literally sitting there waiting, waiting to hear the message that only I can deliver to them. And it's not because my message is special. It's just because for whatever reason, based on my context, with my lens and the way that I put it out there and the way that they're able to receive it, it's the only way that they're going to receive that message and actually implement those changes.